on path of knowledge or on spiritual path a seeker aims to transcend all sensory limitations be it physical or mental the real self is always beyond so who or what is that which is trying to trans transcend is it ego alone because identity as seeker is due to ego or there is something else to i i have never seen anything else this all transcending business is indoctrination isn't it when you are writing this the seeker aims to transcend this limitations and whatever there is already an assumption that there is a limitation of some kind sensory extra sensory who knows what and there is assumption that we the seeker needs to transcend it can you tell me why do we need to do that why where is the limitation isn't it perfect as it is if you transcend the limitation today there won't be any person there won't be any seeker the seeker is this limited form what is wrong with being seeker <laughs> what is wrong being this person is it the ego that is trying to transcend no the ego is a contraction it wants to remain as that the ego is the resistance to transcending or the ego is the resistance to expansion the ego who wants to be what it is is a protection mechanism as you know it will never transcend anything you know you will see that it simply becomes a pet of the higher layers afterwards cannot become higher than what it is it is okay wherever it is but Uh, the the tra- transcending simply means that drop the assumptions that i need to transcend and simply know that i am the transcended one and drop the assumption that there are sensory limits simply know that i am limitless and this senses and all this business is illusion there is no real limit really nothing is physical and nothing is mental isn't it so the question points to some kind of indoctrination ignorant beliefs and i can see that this is what is happening in many paths and that is because uh, they have not reached the path of knowledge so far so something is given to them okay you are down here at the bottom why don't they tell these people who are on the other paths that the trans transcending and all these things uh, do not work you are already the highest why don't they tell it because you see it's not the path of knowledge they have, they have chosen this path because hey, there is a limitation there their goal is something else we have nothing to do with that you know they are doing whatever they are doing it's okay perfectly okay on the path of knowledge you don't need to do anything you drop your ignorance you are already the highest you are the ultimate where do you want to transcend which limit do you want to overcome the limit is also you the freedom is you and the bondage is you tell me what do you want to do now you are the whole where will you go so ultimately it it leads to surrender all these practices they have no other job they lead to surrender and the surrender feels like total freedom it's not like you know the thief surrendering to the police <laughs> the criminal sur- surrendering to police you know i surrender now you put me in the jail no the surrender is all bondages are gone and all freedom is also gone <laughs> all these worries are gone all the practices are gone and we know that there is no knowledge actually knowledge is the ignorance the urge to know is gone questions are gone this is surrender and do people understand these things no no they don't and that is why there are different paths where the progressive thing happens progress happens on the path of knowledge you will never progress so when i say a newcomer comes in the satsang i say surrender okay next day um how much should i pay you i want to surrender all my money and belongings to you there are people i want to come and serve you this is my surrender i said no <laughs> this is not surrender this is activity of some kind like sweetie said na i was worried you are not with me and she used to call me day and night but now she is not worried because now she has matured to a point where this form of the guru is not needed anymore the understanding has happened that i am you where will i find you now so you see there are some paths where where this all this business is suitable and uh, is perfectly okay if that's what you want to do it transcend your limitations and sensory limitations and whatever choose that path ashwin is saying you have taken away everything and yet given everything this is the miracle on the path of knowledge that nobody does anything and still everything happens so he is putting all the blame on me that you have done it no i point that's all the pointing has been done 
you have taken the point. <laughs> Simple. I never did anything. Ashwin is saying there is celebration inside even while there is total chaos outside. Yes, <laughs> you are that chaos. You are that peace. You are everything. Acceptance. Surrender. Even this is misunderstood by some people, you see. Newcomers, just a pile of misunderstanding, isn't it? I was like this, I know. And uh, I used to ask, what is the use uh, of surrender? I mean, it's all chaos and all, everything is going wrong in my life. You want to, you want me to surrender, sit there quietly in bliss, peace. Because the b- bliss and peace was understood as inactivity by me. And it took some time <laughs> for me to find out that um, b- there is bliss in activity also. Everything is going wrong in your life. You're, you're busy fixing it. Can be done in blissful state. Do that which is needed is the mantra. And that mantra puts you in bliss instantly. I'll give you an example. Recently, there was a series of events which included uh, punctured tire. <laughs> no air in my tire. In, it included going in a remote place to, um, you can say, certain office where I had to wait for three hours doing nothing. Then came back and no food. Uh, you know, a series of events. But uh, that day, the awareness was such that, okay, this came up, now I need to do this. Do the next thing. That's all was happening. And uh, when everything happened and I came back home, after fixing whatever I could fix. And there was no complaint in my mind. Usually, usually it is like, what a bad day. Worst day of my life today. But when this was done like this, you know, okay, this happened, let's do this. Okay, that happened, let's do that. After reaching home, there was no complaint. The face was peaceful. It was fresh. Okay, 20 emails and 30 messages on Telegram. Do the next thing. So, You want advantages, this is the advantage of awareness. Life flows. And I'm not saying you won't get irritated and you won't get angry. And it is is all okay, you see, in the end. If there is awareness, it's all okay. The newcomers, usually the thing that, you know, I don't have qualities of the guru. I need to cultivate these qualities of the guru. I need to be, you know, like he said, vegetarian. Then I need all my relations to be perfect then uh, I need to be peaceful, calm, and this voice of a radio announcer all the time. (laughs) News reader voice without emotions. How is it possible? It is one thing to cultivate qualities and it is another thing, thing to let it happen. You cannot become the guru, you see. You can become only that which you are. Remember this much. This is called awareness. To be that which you are. Now you will become whatever it you need to become, no, I'm not improving. Well, that is because there's no improvement inside. Sanjeev is saying how to be in awareness while talking to dear ones and friends and how to make better decisions. Two questions you you have. So decision making has nothing to do with your dear ones. So just like I said, your dear ones and not so dear ones are you. Do you have this knowledge or not? They are your own forms. Remember this much? Now, are you going to harm anybody? Are you going to kill anybody? Are you going to torture anybody? Are you going to um, bound anybody? Anything at all, you see? Are you going to talk something negative that hurts anybody? I mean, you can talk. It is me, so I can talk anything. But you see, enjoy the consequences of it. Some people need a little bit of bitter talk sometimes. So if done in full awareness, your job is done. How to do that in awareness? Remember who they are. Everybody is you. So why are you worried so much about your dear ones? Ego is still there. Am I not dear to you? Do You, you don't want to be in awareness while talking to me? Don't like my face? <laughs> See, the boundaries don't exist for a seeker. Nobody is my dear one. And everybody is dear to me. Be in awareness with everybody. everybody. Why are you worried about my dear ones? Who is your friend? No one. You don't have any friend. So be friendly to everybody. You are the only one. How to make better decisions? You see, a decision is better or worse only in retrospect because you don't know the consequences of your actions. You don't know the future, like we say. The future is always dark. So use your intelligence, use your awareness and according to the best of your knowledge, plan an action. 
in this much i know this is what i am going to do remember that you know there is no doer also there is no free will also nobody is there to decide knowing this fully draw up your plan then execute it beautifully like a work of art and sleep peacefully you see N nothing can be done about it after the consequences are manifested you will know what was your decision was it good was it bad if it is good continue if you are not happy with you know next time we modify it you know change it little bit. i made a mistake no problem we learn like this use your awareness to learn from the mistakes bad decision in my life <laughs> yes how will you learn to make good decisions if you don't make mistakes awareness will not guarantee a good decision awareness will guarantee a lesson have you learned the lesson this much can be guaranteed will you learn if you are not aware no you will not you will blame it on somebody you will blame it on this that i am perfect so you see i don't need, i i need to keep doing the same thing you see because i am perfect others are not perfect so your decisions will never improve and taking on the responsibility of decision is another thing fully knowing i am not responsible <laughs> fully knowing that this is maya this is illusion and anything can go wrong here usually it does like you know the murphy's law if everything is going right be very very suspicious go and hide under the <laughs> table is dangerous situation everything is going right maya is not like this at all either it is your dream fantasy or you are one step away from the mental asylum because everything is going right in your life it is dual my is dual nothing is always right if this goes right that goes wrong this is how the illusion works you have more money somebody else is poor isn't it <laughs> you have a lot of muscles 500 pound body 50 animals were killed to make your body it is like this It's always like this why do these worldly people never find any solution to any of their problems why they don't understand duality they think things can be made right and they keep taking the decisions in ignorance so even if it is a wrong decision awareness will cure it you see we are not here to make everything perfect it's already perfect we are here to learn you will learn if you make best decisions in your life there is always learning there if you are not learning <laughs> no decision is good